everyone. Today I am re-reviewing a fragrance for you. So I already reviewed from a sample, Angelique by Papillon Perfumery. But now I've got the full bottle and I wanted to sort of, I've worn it a few times now, so I feel like I can now give you a little bit more. There might be a few things I didn't notice first time around that I notice now. So let's spray, let's just pop the lid down. So let's give this a spray. It is absolutely tipping it down. I was going to record in my conservatory. You can hear the rain on the conservatory roof and there, there's another room away. It's just so loud out there. So here we are in the front porch or hallway area. I'm going to go on quite heavy because it is quite a light fragrance. Definitely the lightest in the range of Papillon. But it's so beautiful. It is, it's called Angelique and it truly is an angelic fragrance. Like you can hear the angels singing. So I'm going to get some in my hair and do some extras. Right, so pop that down there for a moment. Full disclosure, I uh, obtained the sample. It was sent to me by a friend. I had previously tried it many years ago and at that point decided it wasn't quite what I was looking for in my journey. Then I decided I needed to retest it because my taste changed. So a friend sent me about half a sample and that's what I did the review from. I decided I loved it and I needed to have a bottle. I went online and I went to purchase the bottle. I did purchase the bottle, paid for it. Then the following day, Liz Moores, the perfumer and the owner of the brand got in touch and she said as a thank you for your support because I've bought and reviewed a lot of the fragrances. She said as a thank you, I'm, uh, I'm gonna cancel your order. I will send you a bottle and I'm gonna refund you. So that's what happened. So that bottle was sent to me with absolutely no request or uh, expectation because I've already reviewed it. There you go, full disclosure. So when you first spray it, now the, something I noticed the other day is that I feel like there's something a little bit like galbanum in here, which is one of my least favorite notes, funnily enough but it's not something I'd ever noticed until the other day. And I don't know if there is or not, I have to check with Liz about that. I don't, it's certainly not listed, but I get this green, dry, kind of like a textured, like a fine dust, or maybe even not that fine, like a slightly gritty dust smell that's green and dry. So, which is how I smell galbanum. So, but it's not, full on, but it really does feel quite present, this green, gritty, dry, dustiness, along with some sweetness. There is mimosa in here. Am I smelling mimosa? I don't know if I'm that familiar with mimosa. I know that usually when I smell a fragrance with mimosa, I enjoy it. It's a yellow, yellow floral type scent. So I get this sweetness. It's lightly floral, but it definitely feels like a meadow of wildflowers rather than any specific flower up close and personal. There's iris in here, which I think is lending a slightly powdery feel. Also a very smooth feel. Feels slightly woodsy as well, in a, in an, again in a kind of dusty, very finely milled woodsy way very difficult to explain this one actually but I'm going to give it my best shot so I think for now I'm going to leave it there and I'll come back to you in a bit so here's the full presentation the box that you get the perfume in is like this it's a very light cardboard you have the papillon butterfly Liz has very kindly signed the box for me which is lovely you have the notes on the back as well and then the bottle. I have decanted some out for some fragrance friends just to share the love. So that's why it's, it, I haven't used that much. That's why it's so, um, so empty because I've given a couple of decants away. But that is the bottle. It's not a metallic cap, but it fits reasonably snugly. Probably don't carry it by the cap 
because it will come off but I think it's a very nice and simplistic presentation which I actually really like So we're only 45 minutes in and I've brought you into the conservatory because the rain's calmed down. It's still raining, but it's calmed down a little bit. And I've just noticed a few changes in the fragrance. I felt that I needed to quickly update you on that. I've got the cat here. There she is. She pretty much owns this chair now. Every time I look for Sweetie, she's right here. So the fragrance has become quite woody on my skin. There is a note of cedar wood and I do feel like that's intensified. The notes listed are Mimosa, Osmanthus, Champaca. They are your florals. So Osmanthus can smell like apricot and suede at the same time. Champaca is, I think it's a sort of, uh, a sort of magnolia type creamy, clean smelling floral. Although I have smelt it in its raw state and it actually smelt quite animalic in its raw state, but it's not an animalic thing in here. Then you have iris and oil banum, which is a, a resin. And I think that's it. If I've forgotten one, we'll just put it on the screen here somewhere or maybe even here, who knows? But so what I'm getting now, is that thing that I thought smelt like galbanum is, is really pretty much gone. Although I do still have this green feeling. It's like walking in the woods, but a dry woods uh, on a summer's day. So you're not getting the moist soil and you're not getting too much of the leaves on the trees. You're getting much more of the woods. but with this sweet, creamy, yet powdery iris and a hint of the suede, which is coming, I guess, from the Osmanthus. And I think that the Osmanthus lends it just a touch of a sticky fruitiness as well. So you've got like sticky fruitiness combined with powdery, powdery woods and powdery iris and just a bit of something that's a bit creamy probably the florals all together it's very very ethereal it is not heavy at all it's diffusive it's light it's like a je ne sais quoi kind of fragrance it's not a heavy hitter at all it just gives you this aura that's really beautiful that's it so far. Just a quick update then, around about another hour has passed and the fragrance has deepened up. So it definitely feels a lot more suede and I've got the cat on my lap now. It feels a lot more suede, a lot more richer. Stop scratching the thing, sweetie. A lot richer. I'm getting a little more sweetness. It's more irisy now. The cedar or the woodsiness is much less intense. It's less dry, it's becoming more moist. And less like being in a dry wooded area. Although that is still there, it's just less like that now. It's getting just a little bit sweet and sticky, which is really nice. Hiya, I'm chilling on the sofa thinking about going to work soon and we are two and a half hours into the wearing of Angelique and it's kind of smelling a bit chalky to me now I forgot to mention earlier the violet I definitely get violet from it in the opening and even now just a little bit just a slightly chalky violet the woods are definitely really calmed down there's a hint of something green, but it's very light now. It's not a heavily green fragrance. It's just a, a little whiff, a little breeze of greenness in here. It's now more of a suede but in a very light way. Very light suede, almost suede come chalk kind of thing. It's really unusual. 
with just this slightly sweet floral element that's not actually that strong. So very ethereal, very light, very unusual, suede chalky, slightly sweet, ever so slightly woodsy hint of green thing going on right now. Okay, so I'm going to give you my final update. It's quarter to 11 at night. The fragrance has been on for around about nine hours. It's still giving me ever so gentle wafts as I move around. So if I stand still, I can't smell it. So it's not mega projecting. But if I do my usual moving around, I still get gentle light wafts. In terms of the actual scent, I'd say it's a very soft, woodsy still feels a little bit on the chalky side on my wrist it's almost dead it's just a very soft woods up here i've got a lot more still going on and it's still sweet it definitely feels a little bit woodsy sweet cedary slightly chalky slightly floral it's a very difficult to describe fragrance it doesn't smell exactly like the notes dead on it's very ghost like it just gives you a beautiful light halo it's no beast it's definitely something for those who want something soft and polite and delicate i love it i wouldn't pick it for a night out i wouldn't pick it if i was looking to make an impact I think it's perfect for work. It would work really well. Um, any situation where you need to be a little more discreet, or a job interview, that kind of thing, a, a lunch date. It's quite, um, it probably has a bit of a melancholy feel to it, simply because it's quite a cool fragrance. It just has this cool, kind of slightly aloof feel to it. But it is warmed up in parts by that Osmanthus with the warm sort of sticky apricot feel but for the most part I'd say it's a fairly cool fragrance and the kind of fragrance you wear when you have your shit together and you don't need to show off to anyone and you're calm and you're serene like a swan so that is it that's my final thoughts on the matter I hope you enjoyed it I hope you don't mind that I've reviewed it twice and I appreciate you watching. Thank you and goodbye.